I'm Mark Fuller, a Chief CEO that stands at WET or Chief Excellence Officer for WET Design. All right, so tell me what's happening here. What we're going to be seeing here is water coming up, and this is at high noon, intense Las Vegas sun shining, and do you see that color in there? It looks like uh, cotton candy. It looks like cotton candy one minute, it looks like some fluid from, you know, the planet Krypton Mouth the next wash. minute. Yeah, that's a good... <laughs> uh, we got a radioactive moment in there, you think it was glowing with its own internal energy. But, that, but what we've done is figured out a way to focus such an intense amount of light that we can actually project color that is brighter than, 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 the, uh, than the noonday sun. And what kind of bulbs are they, or you know, what kind of application are they used these, for elsewhere? These are, um, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a lighting projector that we developed along with the, with the, the uh, manufacturer that we work with, with, brilliant people. They can actually take a tremendous amount of light, and then we have to manipulate it to where it goes so there's this, these super bright lights hidden along the perimeter inside and then they bounce off computerized mirrors and that's what focuses them up so we can we can focus at that hot spot that you just saw we can actually shift that anywhere we want we can split it into a couple of dozen smaller spots we can bring them all together um, so we're we're choreographing light you know, vortexes, I think, fascinate people from the time you're a little kid and the, you remember your first bath and watching the water swirl down the tub and, you know, the off-told story of the Coriolis effect and how it happens, you know, one direction in one hemisphere and the opposite in the other. And we really took that as we do a lot of our work, some, some principle of science or some phenomenon in nature and say, how can we expound on it and show it off uh, and turn it into a, a marvelous piece of, of, of art. If you look down at this this guy here from the top, some of these views are kind of neat. And so we, we took a, a whole series of vortexes, we captured them, and you can see uh, at some of the science centers, exploratorium and so forth in San Francisco, you can see a big cube of the vortex. We really wanted to introduce a level of tension and excitement that you don't see in the just a pure science exam. So you'll notice that every one of these tubes is painted on its side. So when the vortex starts to spin, I don't think it's real happy about being in there. Look at that guy. There's this tension like, I want to straighten up or I want to get out. <laughs> when, you, when you realize what's going on here, this is a sealed tube. So where is that air that's getting pulled down and coming? And as it, and as it pulls the air out, that's why the water level rises. It's pulling itself up. It's actually vacuuming all the water out of there. Oh, I see. And lifting itself up. Uh, going narrower and narrower in the process. A tremendous amount of physics. You could give a whole physics lesson here. There are a couple of fluid dynamics classes here on, on all the phenomena that are being seen. I think you should go into making toilets. I there think you this go. This would be a beautiful. Uh... <laughs> you expect to come to Las Vegas and see huge stalagmites of ice, do you? These. These come, uh, are frozen beneath the, the quiet surface of this pool. We have 13 of them total. And at any given time, there's different numbers of them up. We freeze them uh, day or night, and then, and then we bring them up as the ha a hatch slides open, and they'll come up out of, the, out of the ground. So what we have around these are rings of hundreds of super high in pre in, 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 uh, pressure water jets that we program them sort of like a wraparound digital dot matrix printer. And as they come up, we actually chew away the ice wow. uh, with those down uh, in there. That's some of the other fun things that we've developed. You see, some of these are totally opaque and frosty. Here's one that's partly translucent. I don't see a completely clear one up right now. We can do them clear. Around, you can see these rings around there. Those, those are bubblers, and we found that Depending on the amount of aeration we create in the ice column while it's freezing, we can take them from absolutely uh, clear as glass to frosty white. So we can take one of these, bring it up white, carve it into a great shape, take it down, over freeze a clear um, wrap of ice on it, bring that up, carve it into a different shape. I bet, I bet a, a speleologist who studies in caves could, could give lessons here about how, because that's of course over hundreds of thousands of years, right. how, how the formations, right. but, but a lot of the physics that you see here of, of material you know, slowly um, solidifying, in, in this case freezing in this, the lagmite case, the water evaporating and causing the uh, calcium, uh, a lot of the formations and timings and stuff, I bet there's 
interesting parallel set. And then the next step would be to flavor them. Yeah. And like people could come <laughs> break off. You I, know. I've done a shot, a photograph on my iPhone of a couple of people um, trying the tongue test on that to see if it would stick the other day. Well, thank you so much for taking us on this great tour. We my really, pleasure, really entirely. appreciate it. Thank you so much. You bet.